we are going to, uh, what's this place called? Craft Kitchen, I think, something like that? No, Heirloom Craft Kitchen. I think that's the name of it. Anyways, a uh, successful restaurant tour in town. It's got a very great restaurant. You should check it out, called Cork and Fork in La Quinta. Uh, they opened up another, a second, more of like a order at the counter, less formal style eating establishment. And uh, in a weird way, I've come to recognize that when we stop by and talk about places on the vlog, um, it's beneficial to them. And so why not use the vlog to support a business that I like? On the last episode, I talked about using your dollars to support things that you appreciate and that you like. And so here I'm doing the same thing. I'm kind of, you know, I can go anywhere to eat on the vlog. And so we're gonna go to a place that I like that I also support. I think it's called Heirloom Craft Kitchen in Indio, California. Let's check it out. That was really good. Yeah, that place is incredible. Number one, the food is amazing. Number two, on the last episode, we talked about using your money, right? Using your money like your voting power. I just ran into the mayor of La Quinta in there, and we actually talked about that very concept. And it's incredible, it's true, it totally works. And so, not only did we just use our money, you know, as our voting power, but I guess we're using Unbillable, baby. I'm hiding from him. You want her? I'll get to her in a little bit. Look, it's sprouting, I'm so happy. Are you, you're, are you gonna take this with you? No. Is your sister gonna try to take care of it? Yeah, I told her, look, water bottle right here, you just give it some water. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Luis, so we just got back from the uh, Heirloom Craft Kitchen, an outstanding place to eat. As you saw, my Sloppy Joe was epic. But more importantly, we ran into the mayor of the city of La Quinta there, someone I like to consider a friend. We started talking about how people use their money as voting power. She saw on the last episode of Unbillable how we talked about, you know, people think of their vote as being so important, but every day you spend your money, and in many ways, that's really your voting power. Like, even in this episode, I started talking about how, you know, we can go anywhere that we want to eat, but why not showcase a business that I support? The same thing can be said about your money. So when we were in there having that conversation with the mayor, I mean, it's amazing kind of how we start talking about this ongoing struggle or the everyday battle to make your business successful and the same thing can be said for me and my clients I mean one of the benefits of being a business attorney is I get to work with a lot of different businesses and see the different ideas and processes that they go through to build their business or to make their business successful or to, to, to take an existing successful business and make it go to the next level, right? Expand and be even more successful. And what works for one person doesn't always work for the next person. I mean, if it always worked the same, every single person would open up their own business, we'd copy whoever else was successful, and boom, we'd all have successful businesses. But it doesn't work like that. What works for one person won't necessarily work for the next person. And quite frankly, even what you think will be successful or great for your business might not be successful and great for your business. There's really no way, there's no, there's no mathematical formula, there's no scientific process you can go through and every time have the same outcome. That's why it's like, you have to think of your business and what you're doing every single day as a marathon. It's not a sprint. Like a lot of people look at the, the short term and what the benefit is in the immediacy of their business, but in many ways your business is a marathon. People are building businesses that are gonna last a lifetime. Some people are building businesses that are gonna last more than a lifetime. I mean, if you're building something where you're gonna give it to your children or maybe even your children's children, then you're building something that's gonna far last, far outlast your own existence, your own lifetime. That's clearly a marathon. And the, the steps and the decisions that you're making should be based on that idea that you're gonna put in your all every single day because you never know what day, what thing, what item is gonna be the item that breaks out your business. And like, that's a key point. It brings me to this interesting topic. I have a client, actually a good friend that has a clothing company, a t-shirt brand, if you will. And they were just kind of a, another anonymous t-shirt brand. Right now, it seems like everybody's selling and making t-shirts. Then one day, a celebrity, will leave names out of this, decided to wear their shirt when they won an award. They won like a MTV Music Award or maybe a Billboard Music Award, whatever it was. And they wore that shirt up on the stage. And next thing you know, unbeknownst to my client, unbeknownst to the t-shirt company, everybody saw the product. Type it into Google or Bing or whatever search engine, it's Google. And next thing you know, they're getting a ton of hits and getting a ton of orders 
and they never even saw it coming. You just have to keep giving your all every single day, every single thing you're doing, because you never know what might be your breakout thing. I mean, frankly, that's what we're doing with Unbillable, right, Luis? This is where you nod the camera, buddy. That's right. All right, if you like this episode, you know what to do. Hit the like button. That's always important. If you got something to comment, something to add, put it in the comments below. Maybe you have a question for me or a story for me about your business. It'd be awesome for you to share it with us. Do that in the comments below. And of course, if you want to keep up to date with the guy that steals iced tea, according to the last episode, be sure to hit the subscribe button. By the way, that's not me. I would never do such a thing, but it would mean a lot to us if you did that. So we look forward to seeing you and you look forward, hopefully, to seeing us on the next episode of Unbillable. Woo!